And we're live once again with MNR TV. And recently we did a show on the Big Crunch. And tonight we've got a special guest, Mr. Miller. He's back on. But with further ado, let me introduce to you the madman himself, Mario. And yes. we're talking about the Big Crunch. I mean, the Big Bang Theory. The opposite of the Big Crunch. And now we're happy because we actually got Mr. Miller on to explain what we were supposed to have last week we were supposed to have him explain so he's here to explain go so ahead do universal, so George, Mr. Miller. the universal powers couldn't hold us back forever now could it no That's right. so this um this topic is just so intriguing to me because like I was telling you guys since a little kid ever since I could see the stars out there my mind was just fascinated with the universe and how it worked and all the little oddities and mysteries about it and so that's pretty much all I watched growing up as a kid was the sci-fi, fiction, this and that on it. And then um, I got into a lot of stuff that uh, Michio Kaku has been talking about with string theory and all that. But what I want to focus on here is what you all were talking about, which is the big crunch. And the, the other side of the coin of the big crunch is obviously the big bang theory and the expansion theory. The fact that we started from this one singular, one singularity, whatever, one little point, and it, it blew up and expanded out. That's the Big Bang. And their, their ending to that theory is that one day it can only expand so far until it starts collapsing in on itself, which would be what you all were talking about. So what I wanted to show you was just – because when I first heard that and they, and they how they explained it was with the balloon. They took a balloon and they took a Sharpie and they put a bunch of little what you would say galaxies all over the balloon to represent when the Big Bang happened, all these galaxies would be separating apart from each other, Okay. So they would do that like this. And you see your little galaxies right there, your planets, what have you. And after the Big Bang and the expansion, they would just keep on going. Slowly and slowly over time, they would expand from each other. Okay. And they get further apart. Right. Now, what you all were talking about was the Big Crunch. So once you reach your end game to this, all of a sudden, you have the big crunch. All the galaxies, planets, all the matter, time and space, all comes back into one point. Okay, so that's what they want us to believe. But they also want us to believe that our galaxies out here in this crazy universe, galaxies collide with each other. That somehow these galaxies come the same direction, point A, point B, meet, and they collide, okay? They have NASA imagery of galaxies colliding. So you tell me. How can these things collide? I only have one answer for that. How can those collide? I have one answer for that. Unless yeah. the big crunch has already began and it's shrinking bit by bit, that's the only thing I can think of. But wouldn't they, um, if they accelerate at a certain point, wouldn't they decelerate at that same point? Like so you mean, yeah, like they would just close on itself. They right. won't crunch. It's like, it's, like, it's like a movie. You fast forward the movie. And then we rewind the movie. You're rewinding it. It's still it go back. in the same motion. Yeah, I can't go too fast forward and reverse at the same time. Yeah, you got a point there. So I really don't know. So what does she mean by that? The question is: Is okay. We're seeing you blowing on the balloon, but you're the one blowing on the balloon so that it expands. Question is: Is who's expanding it and who's making it crunch? That's your big bang. That's what they want to tell us. They don't know how the big bang happened but that there was a Big Bang, and that's what I'm simulating as I'm blowing it up. That's their Big Bang, everything blowing up, and that one day there will be a Big Crunch where it can no longer expand anymore and it comes back in on itself. So as it comes back in, it can't be, it can be, it can be going in, inwards. It can't be crashing into each other. Just They would all come at the same exact distances and rates that they separated from. They yeah, 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 it could be a loom, yeah. Plus, if, 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 if let's, let's go with what you're saying, let's say as it comes back, one galaxy would bump into the other. They wouldn't be coming from different directions. This one would come down, and then this one would come down maybe faster and bump into it. But they're both would be going in one direction. With the galaxies they show us, they're coming from opposite directions and hitting each other. Let me show you an example. Okay. Yeah, I, I see that. So that's two galaxies crashing into each other. Two galaxies crashing into each other. 
Hold on, let me get a little clear for you. Mm, it's clear. Now watch. All right, now they're rewinding it. I know that's after the crash. Okay, but now watch when they come from their both coming from one point. One's coming from A, one's coming from B, and yeah. going, one's going to B and one's going to A. So they're coming from opposite directions. Now, how can they be coming from opposite directions if we have a big bang expansion and then a and then a, a big crunch where it goes out and comes back in? There shouldn't be galaxies going in opposite directions colliding with each other. Have you? Uh, I've never heard of this before, though. Uh, you bring up a, a good point right here, Mario. Any words on this? No, it's a pretty. Uh, it's, it's 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 amazing. And then it disappeared. Yes, it did. I mean, all you gotta do is just anyone that wants to take a little bit of time, just go on on any website and just type in NASA archive photos of galaxies colliding. All right. In layman's terms, a galaxy is what holds many solar systems. We are in a solar system. Sometimes the Milky Way. Right. Sometimes people that are into the universe, they get confused with a solar system and a galaxy. Okay. So you figure a galaxy would be a plate and your solar systems would be all those little air pockets and air bubbles in that plate all around it. Okay. So we have a sun in our solar system and many planets around it. So can you imagine all of the all the solar systems in these galaxies when they collide with another galaxy with millions of solar systems in it and all the planets and all the destruction and carnage that just gets mind boggling. Now, which one could be a lie? Because we're getting this information from the controllers. You all know that. Everybody watching this knows that. We know that, yeah. Our viewers right. know that also. So basically what I'm pointing what I'm trying to point out to you is this one of the two is not true. But yet they want to lump it together as if it is so. They want us to believe that there was a Big Bang Theory, everything was out, and then it was a crunch. But they also have real scientists out there, or astrologers, whatever you want to call them, that have photos of faraway galaxies colliding with each other. Now, the two don't jive. The two don't go one hand in hand. But the reason is, why would they be doing this? Putting two different theories out there. You can't have one theory and one working. <clears throat> we, we, to keep us in the dark. To keep us from knowing or being able to stay on the trail of what the real truth is. But the, like I said, from a little kid, that's all I wanted to know is the mysteries and the questions out there. What's out there? Did you know about the big crunch? Before I mean, yeah. So? You heard of that? I, mean, I didn't know like everything about it, but I mean, like, um, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, L. Ron Hubbard. He's the guy that pretty much invented all this. L. Ron Hubbard in, in the 1920-something, 20-ish. He's the one that pretty much came up with the theory of the Big Bang and that the end game of that would be the Big Crunch. What goes out must come in. What goes out must come down type thing, you know? Hmm. So well, now that's a name to look up. Let, let's investigate Hubbard. Let's investigate him and let's see what guys he had since he's the one that put the theory out there. He must have been working for the elites. We know. We know these elites and their game goes back many, many years. 1929. 1929 is the year uh, Ron Hubbard came up with the Big Bang Theory. My question is, what happens if there is a big crunch? There's nothing anymore. Yeah, that's a scary thought, right? So if there's nothing anymore, there's got to be something if there's nothing. Like, what, what was there before the Big Bang Theory? What color was it? Black? White? <clears throat> See, that's my whole thing. It's that chicken and the egg. What came first, the chicken or the egg? It's like that's one of the eternal questions that you want answered. It's mind-boggling type stuff. Like how could there have been nothing and then it blew up into something? So there's um, the expansion of matter and space. That's pretty much what the Big Bang is. It was the expansion of matter and space. And then somewhere in there it became time. So I guess after you have that expansion of matter, the space in between it, and it keeps on expanding, you're creating time. So, because the, the only way I could see is God is outside of time, creating all of this. That's the only thing some creator, so, someone, God, that did yeah, this. I see is it seems like we're all a computer simulation. <laughs> this is all. This is all just some big game. You heard about that? That the it's universe is a computer game. Yes, they said they've X-rayed our atoms, and they said they appear to be holograms. That's craziness. 
Holograms. Yes, they said they've x-rayed our atoms, and they seem to be holograms, like they're just being projected. From beyond the universe. Yes. An exterior source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and, and in closing, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, just, like I said, an interesting little little mission to take would be, let's look up L. Ron Hubbard, the guy that pretty much came out with the Big Bang Theory. Let's see what ties he had to this theory. Um, and just keep looking up. The truth yeah. is out there. Yeah, and if any of our viewers have any answers to this, feel free to add comments, anything. Uh, we'll be looking forward to, to any answers and, or anything that anybody might have for Mr. Miller's Big Bang Theory. Mario? Yes. Just hope it doesn't pop. There's a Big Bang. Yeah, because if it pops, you'll see a big crunch. That's for sure. Exactly. All the universes have to come back together into one. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for coming on the show. Boys, be safe and have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next year. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon, guys.